float's gone under. Bail arm off. Un under it, I think. Go, go, go under, go under. Oh my gosh. Are we on? Dazzle, are we on? I think so. I think so? Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on! Hi, Steve. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to First Time Fishing with me, Big Bird, and these three. So, we've got Matt, Dom and Daz today, and it is a bit of a special. So, um, I've wanted to do this for quite a while, but I'm cacking myself a bit because we're, we're catching something today with big teeth, and we're going to go pike fishing. It's nothing I've ever done before, I've always been a match fisherman, I like going after little roach, little carp, little left ones, but today I've gone and sourced an expert in 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 dom and dom's thing is pike fishing and we thought we'd have a little challenge so we're gonna split ourselves into two teams and we're gonna see who can catch the biggest pike but we've all got the same rod haven't we yeah. Yeah. but we're all going to select our own gear whether we're going to use a dead bait whether we're going to use a lure and more most importantly what <coughs> reel we're going to use so does it what reel have you gone for well I've gone for the Matrix Ethos, the new uh, Ethos Pro 3000. Why have you gone for a match a match reel? Yeah, my well. name's Darren, I like Matrix, I like to catch fish. <laughs> Why is it that you have to get everything Matrix? <laughs> I know, they're the best brand out there, as far as I'm concerned. Is that the new one? Absolutely, it's the new one. Matrix Ethos XR 3500. It is light, I'll give you that. Yeah. So you're going to lure then? Are you going to lure fish today? Well, I don't know. I might do a bit of dead baiting with it just to show you lads up. But no, I will be lure fishing with it. Okay, interesting. Dom? Well, I've gone for the cheap and cheerful option. I've gone for the Akuma Barbarian, double handle, which I like. It's got a bait runner function on it. Superb. Great like, for the job. Like, I, I want to take the mickey that you've had an Akuma, but they've had quite a good write up. <laughs> I, you know, they're great, they're reliable. I won't, I, I won't lie to you, I don't really know what's going to be the best reel for it, to be honest. I'm like, yeah, um, so you think that'll do the job? It'll do the job, it's strong enough, it's plenty strong enough, it'll do the job, it's nothing fancy, you know, we're, we're catching pike. But you know, good value? Yeah, good value. How much are them coming in at, do you reckon? Uh, I think they're about 24 quid. 30, 24 30, quid? 30 quid, somewhere around there, with and, a spare spool, fantastic. Value. And that'll catch you a pike? That's plenty strong enough to do it. It'll do the job. I'm starting to Unless... wonder whether I've overcooked it a little. No, I won't have overcooked it. No. I think you might. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> what have you gone for, Matt? The, the perfect tool for the job. He's gone for a bait runner. <laughs> He's gone for a bait runner. Bait, bait runner 4000. Like, think about this, like, precision. I can't believe you've precision. gone for a bait runner. Precision tool for the job. Precision. You see, I thought you'd have gone for a bait runner, but I thought you'd have gone for a Shimano bait no, runner. No, you see, oh. I opted for value for money today because I thought we're going to get Matt turned on. In all fairness, on. in all fairness, you've probably paid four times the amount he has for it. Yeah. So, so you've gone four thousand. Four thousand bait run, a perfect size for what we're going to do. It's not all about the what size. What size pike have we got? On what? Doing with it, Matt? What are you planning on doing with it? Dead baiting, mm. like you said. Mm. Perhaps you wanted to go for a six. Then, well, I'm, I'm, I'm working I don't, on I don't, principle. I don't think Matt's got a clue about I'm, pike fishing. I'm either. working on principle. To do well today, I need to draw on a team with Dom. If I don't, it's going to go downhill quickly. I do think that the person who um, who runs the YouTube channel should go with the with the expert. Don't mm. you think? No. 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 no, 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 no. Why? You're a YouTube channelist. You're not. You're not a great thinker. Well, I think you've I'm undercooked not it. There. It's not you undercooked, think you've it. undercooked it. It's the right. It's, it's, it. it's the right size for what we're going to be doing today. Precision. Mate. Can I just ask you? Right tool for the job. Have you pike fished before, mate? No, I've not. But looking at the size of the water and what I've seen and that, this what is size, the right What size, size pike are in here, Dom? They go to, I would have said, late 20s. Um, oh, my days. Late 20s. Oh, my days. Perfect, perfect big Hopefully enough. Hopefully, we're going to see some doubles today. Fingers. Perfect tool 20 for the job. pounds. 20, yeah, they go 20, late 25, 20s. 25, 26, 29. Yeah. Yeah. With teeth? Yeah. yeah. I'm not looking forward to it I'm not happy either, about this. Like... There's a reason I've not done pike fishing before, oh, because it's, it's get. Oh, they're like sharks. It's amazing. It's amazing. Right. Well, I, 
It's all very well. Shall I show yeah. you mine? Come on, then. Let's have what you I've already, yeah. Right, so basically, I've already done all mine. I've set it all up on the rods and everything. I've watched about 16 YouTube videos last night. Right. And I've already set mine up. Hang on. Oh, dear. Oh, my. What's the... What's Come on. So I've gone for the Shimano Bait Runner. But at N4000, I've gone for a 10,000. Because it's overkill. It's bigger, it's better, and it's going to land massive pike. So why It'll land it a big? shark. Why is it better then, Andy? Because it's bigger, look. <laughs> bigger. Look at it. It's look bigger. at it. Bigger is not necessarily better. But look, right, that, <laughs> that rod right there, that could land a shark. It's a good job we're not sharp. Big, bigger is not better, it mate. It is. Look at the size, Precision. Right? Precision. Look at the size. I think, definitely think the 10,000's got what it takes to do it. Yeah. Precision. They are, you see? And he's the expert. Especially so that's well, it. I don't know why right. I'm bothering. It doesn't Fish, matter. Especially doesn't with matter the depth matter. of right. water. And in the face. Definitely. So, I've obviously got the best reel, obviously. Oh, clearly. Um, so, I think we need to go and pick the teams then. It's, it's clearly... The, the best reel properly. out of the choice. All I tell you, all of the subscribers watching this will look at this and go, "That's oh, overkill." No, 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 no. They'll go. They're gonna big say, bird spot on there. The thing you're going to say is, "Is your big bird's not the expert?" That's, That's it. what they'll say. Yeah. That's it. So I know yeah. what I'm talking about there. The over the Let's go and get it so in we, then. So we've yeah. got you that's biggest is best. Yeah. You've got him that doesn't want to spend more than a tenner. You've got Mr. Oh, you want to fish with Matrix? And you've only got me Who that's picked the clue. right tool for the job. He hasn't got a clue, has he? He's picked the right tool. <laughs> biggest one's going to be best. The biggest now. one. Right. Let's that's go. it. Right, Will. Right, and the time has come. And I haven't been able to rig it so that I'm with Dom. We're actually going to draw it out of the hat and see what the teams are. And I don't know if I've made it clear, but I just hope I get done. Can we just, just want to, I want to check with the rules. Uh, is it the individual that catches the fish and got to unhook it and put it back? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. You can't quite, Andy. If I'm on your team, yeah, because you can help. No, no, it's individuals. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not like We've got to unhook it as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's not just the catch. Pike swallow them like the whole, like no, swallow the whole no, thing. No, no, no. Right, I will, but with guidance. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing odds. So if you're a one and a three are going together, and a two and a four are going together, there we go. Oh. Have got one? <laughs> oh, you, man. What's Daz? One, Darren, and I'm a three. I'm, no, I'm number two, Dom. I'm number four. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, partner! <laughs> Come on, Dazzler! Come on! Come on! Right. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Good luck, ladies. <laughs> well, should we leave you to have a quick team talk? Yeah. Should we go try some spinning. <laughs> Let's move on, Daz. Let's move on. Nice little cove round there. Let's go and have a look around there. Are oh, you gonna you gonna try here? Yeah, go on, on then, mate. That's a one, mate. So we just sat here watching Team Laurel and Hardy trying to spin. Oh, 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 oh! Did you see how serious he went then? Not gonna lie, I felt like someone went for it then. Did you? It's an NGT Pro Foiler. It's four foot, and it's got a three-pound test curve on it. So basically, it's a broom handle. They're like twenty-five quid. Broom handle, mate. Let it think for a minute. He looks confident, doesn't he? He does, mate. I don't know why. Just looking at the team we're against, mate, I don't think we've got a lot of problems. No. I mean, we've got, like you say, 
I don't know which one's Laurel and which one's Hardy. <laughs> Are we in the right place, Daz? Or do we need to get away from well, these you... pair? I'm confident, Daz. Good. Oh. Have you got one? No, it's weed, mate. Oh, I thought he was going to... I thought he was going to weigh himself then. <laughs> So this is how to spin, is it? Well, the rod needs to be a bit longer, I think. Come on, do you catch them over them weed beds? Let it sing? Yeah. And then, and then am I reeling a little bit and then stop? No, because you've got a spinner on, you just want to reel nice and steady. Just reel it slow? Yeah, nice and steady. But your trouble is, it's that weed in here. Look, it's on the weed. Yeah, look. So like, what have we, I don't know, what? Yeah, it's a weed fish. <laughs> so what have we done to set this one up then? Just put a standard trace on. Yeah, so it's like got a piece of... And a clip. It's got a piece of the hat on yeah. the end, right? <laughs> it's just got a treble. If you put your fingers there... What? Put your fingers there, you'll feel the trebles. Through. I don't want to feel the trebles. <laughs> <laughs> Think we should? Oh yeah, this guy. Oh, we're putting a little fish on. Look, yeah, little fish. Cardboard box. Cast her out. And with this one, am I doing exactly the same? Oh, 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 it's like that. A look, a walk off then. Looks like we're going, looks, oh. looks like we're trying a different swim. Yeah. Nice to be told. I just think a nice chuck and a nice slow retrieve. That's the thing about lure fishing, you're just trying to, trying to tempt them to bite. So it's more trying to annoy the fish than them being on the feed like the other rods that are out with the dead baits. They'll, act, they'll actually be actively looking to feed, whereas this you're trying to entice a bite. I like the rocking action, got that down to a T. Your head's bobbing up and down. I like it. That folded over on the cast. Oh, it's in my finger. Ducked his finger. <laughs> <laughs> you can't weigh that in. <laughs> oh. Right. Right, well, I'm, I'm, we'll swap over, mate. It's too fiddly for me. So then, mate, we've started our hour on the... Uh, hour on the alarms. Yeah. It's going to be funny if they latch into one, you know. Yeah. It is going to be funny. Well, that went bad. No, he's, he's getting the knack of that casting, isn't he? Hmm? They shout, they will catch him close in there. Yeah. They will catch him close right in. Right end, right area of the lake. Yeah, they will catch him under that tree. That's where one of the Perch. 20s come out of. One of the pot, 20s? Yeah, 20 in the next swim, and it come out literally a rod length out. How can we sabotage him, though? Because, look, genuinely, I don't know if you've noticed it, but I always just want to beat Daz. Yeah. I don't like losing to well, Daz. What we can do is we can uh, take the baits off when it's there, go. Just before it's time yeah. to change over and tell we'll them. We'll tell them we've recasted them. Yeah. And just take the baits off. Do you think any of them have the actual sense to check yeah, if no. there's bait still on? No. no. I mean, they're scared of fish, aren't they? <laughs> well, and is, he's not looking forward to looking at pike, is he? So hopefully, mate, we'll. Uh, I'm hoping we see one. One yeah. or two. Should do soon. So we're just going to make a trace now, fresh trace. Um, eyes are not great, but we use a crimp, the crimp system. We're going through there with a the crimp. Would you want to do the reel? Through the hook, and then back through the the crimp. 
And the crimp, so the crimp, does that hold it all together? That holds it all together, yeah. Now, we've got proper crimping tools. Instead more, of knotting it, basically. Yeah, yeah. You can use the, the twist system. Yeah. Um, but I generally have always what, used... What, twist, 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 and then feed it through the bottom of the loop? Yeah. I get you, yeah, yeah. So, um, you use that in a bit of match fishing, don't you? And to yeah. To tie a few hooks yeah. on and stuff like that. Yeah. But, but this, I... we're literally crimping on. And do you reckon it's better than a knot? Uh... I don't know, it's one thing you get confidence in. Yeah. I've always had confidence in it. It's like you, you, you've got proper um, crimping tools, but I always use pliers and use them that way because you get the line coming across it, which makes it, you know, you know you've got a decent grip and as you'll see in a minute. So we'll, we'll... Now, if you look at that, it should have lines going across it and across the crimp there, which means basically that's got it. It's not going anywhere. Okay. All right. So. Uh, Sort of. And then you put, do you put a second one on? Uh, yeah. And what is this stuff just here? This is trace wire. So that's so like the Drennan Soft Strand East. Like so Fifteen pounds no. for a pen. Um, so now what we'll do, we've cut the other end. We'll give it sort of, as I said, sort of. I like them over two foot. Um, some people say they're too long, um, but it's just what I'm used to. Yeah. Uh, and then we go. What's think, quite good about this is it doesn't seem like a set way. You do what works for you, yeah. Yeah. I mean, predator fishing, um, it, again, it's the same with match fishing, isn't it? It's confidence. It's, um, I put a short trace on and I've never got confidence with it. it just, I just think everything's too close, personally, but everything, you know, to the lead. So now we're going on with the... We've got our two trebles on. We're going to put the swivel on the same same way that we put the, um, the first hook on. So then you pinch it with these? We do, yeah. Pinch it with them. And then you're confident that that... Is going nowhere. So as you can see there, yeah, the, the, wire, the wire trace has come back out. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. gone through, and we yeah. make sure. Then what I tend to do sometimes is just to ensure, just nip that, nip that end bit, nip that. And what I do is I hold it, hold it sort of there, pull right. down so we've got a little bit, so there's enough room. And then just nip it. It gives us something to hold when we. And then and then actually then crimp the whole it, thing so it, so it, it makes sure it ain't slipping out. Yeah. Yeah. Then we give it some. Okay. <laughs> and let's have a look at that. Yeah, you see, so like, so like, that is literally... That's going nowhere. Going nowhere, is no, it? No. It's going nowhere, mate. And if you, like, say, if you do feel that you ain't got it all, just come back up there and give it a second one. It's, they're not going anywhere, mate. Solid, absolute okay, so. solid. So then we've got a nice, I just don't like kinks and things in my traces. I just, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Just, and that's that's pretty much it. Some people would say it's too long the pipe neck it before. Yeah, so if you're on the ball. So talk me through this bit here. Yeah. So so basically we're gonna move that second treble up and down the road. So that'll move up to there, yeah. and then we'll literally put that into one part yeah. of the dead bait, and, and that then, part into the other part. Yeah, of the dead but bait. what I tend to do is when we've let's say for instance that this is our dead bait, yeah. Yeah. So that goes in there, yeah. and what we do is sort of bring that up to where we need it. Yeah. And then all I do is loop round it. Oh, so it holds it in place? Yeah, holds it in place, and then where that's looped around it is where we'll go in. That's the, that's the treble that we'll use to go in the fish so it can't come out, can't be moved, etc. Happy days. So, right then. Well, let's get let's get a bait on it. Who's... We're using very basic gear today. Um, we're using a standard running rig. So um, basically, it's ledgering, isn't it? It is, yeah. Okay. Just dead and bait what's ledgering. the reason? What's the reason we're ledgering and that we're not spinning? On this water, it's very clear, as we'll see later. We'll, um, we'll, we'll get some water out of the lake and we'll yeah. show how clear the water is. Um, I strongly believe the perception of pike being stupid is completely wrong. Um, you know, they're clever fish, they see, and this water, as you'll see in a bit, we'll walk around with a camera and we'll have a look in the edges. All right, yeah, well, we'll stick the GoPro in. For this, right, so you've done your wire here. Yeah. You've got your wire, so we've, we, we, we saw you set that up just, yep. right? And then we've took, we've put the wire around this second yep, hook, yeah. Just for now, yeah. But I've seen that you've you've attached this here now, and this yeah. is to mono, yeah. Yeah, to mono. So so what what strength mono are we using? That's fifteen pound mono. That is right. Fifty. <laughs> right, and the reason why we've got the wire is because of the teeth. Yes. So it don't go through the mono. Yeah. yeah? And what's the reason you're using mono and not braid? I just prefer to use mono. Um, a lot of people so there's do. There's a lot of preference here. Yeah, yeah. It's just what I prefer to use. I've always used it. People, you know, people on the channel say, "Oh no, you shouldn't be using mono for." for but it's just what I do. And, and then we've got a lead here. 
Yeah, weight, weight leads of the lead. Are, lead's a three quarter ounce lead, it's nothing heavier than that really. Yeah, um, and that's just so that some resistance yep. when the pike yep. takes the bait. And we've got a buffer bead on there that will go over the swivel, like that, just to protect the knots and everything. When that's banging about, <coughs> it protects it right. also. And, and tell me Dom, we're, 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 it's, a pike's going to take it today, isn't it? It certainly is. Come on. <laughs> So, whew, about six hours in, and all we've seen is a pike that someone else has caught. We're having absolutely zero indications. We're out there, the rain's starting to come in now. The way today is going, the heavens have just opened. We're cold, it's raining, it has been a long day. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, no, leave it, leave it. Leave it. Float's gone under. Bail arm, bail arm off. Oh, gosh. I can't get up. Un under it, I think. Right, yeah. Come on under here. Go, go, go under, go under. Just leave, leave it to run. Go on under the inside. Oh, my gosh. We could be in at the death. Oh, my days. Is it running? What do we think, Don? Well, bung's gone, so it um, doesn't seem to be running. Just to be clear, this is our hour, isn't it, Don? Well, with a float rod. I couldn't give a hoot whose hour it is. I was just, it'd just be nice to see a pike. Let's just feel if anything's. You just trying to feel if something's on. So what we don't do with with pike bites is. You have to let the pike try and swallow it in order to try and hook it. It's, it's not like any of your commercial fishing where the float goes down and, you, and, you, and you're striking. Oh, right, okay. Oh, hold on, it's under that one. Right? Bull's gone, you've got yours. You've only got a small bait on, so you can either whack it. I wouldn't whack it too hard, but what I don't understand is why it's not running. Oh, hold on, hold on. I've just reeled down. It don't seem to be running there and just lift into it. Hard? Yeah, reasonably hard. Not, not, just lift into it. It's only a small boat. So. Are we on? Are we on? Are we on? Dazzle, are we on? I think so. Think so? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on! Yes! Oh, we're, on. we're on! We're on! Oh, no. Are we? Oh, yeah, yeah, we are. We're on. We're on. Yes, yes, we're on. We're on, we're on. Oh, he's, he's only little, but it's all right. It's all right. It's a, it's <laughs> it's a pike. It's a pike. Oh, let's get let's get him under the water. Bring him here. All that time we didn't think we were going to get anything and and this little fella just pops up absolutely superb look at this i'm assuming it's gonna have to go in you're gonna have to go in through the gills superb says this is like pull down we're all steady on keep pulling whoa, whoa hold on let's there's one one of the hooks. Oh, there's only one on it. Yeah, that's it. I think this, uh, Look at that. He's had a bite. He's been piped. Yeah, he has, look. So, Daz, is that a win for me and you? No. It's yeah. It's our hour. No, no, that's us. That's a win for us. No chance. Absolutely superb. It, Dom, look at him. Dom. So look in his mouth. Team it should be a team effort, guys. Oh, look at that. Look at them teeth. <sighs> Superb. Isn't he beautiful, though? So he's called a little jack, isn't he? He's a jack pike, yeah. Super. You can see the marks on the side where another pike's well had done, it. Yeah. Absolutely superb. Well, high fives all around, boys. Effort. High fives. Underwater.
Unfortunately, we have come to an end of our day. However, it was fruitful. We didn't need to go back to the garage. We did have a little jack, didn't we? We did. Yeah. We did. We think it was about two, two and a half pound, but it's a fish. Yes. <laughs> so, so we're very grateful. We did see a 16, 16 what was it? Four. 16 pound, four ounce earlier. And we'll just give you a little bit of footage of that now. So, this is a bike, 16.4. Just been had um, by one of the other anglers. Um, as you can see, it's teeth. Lovely looking fish. Um, yeah, nice. You see it's teeth. Let me zoom in on them. <laughs> Christ. So, yeah, she's beauty. They're all coloured like that in here. Stunning fish. Beautiful. Back. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was an absolutely stunning fish. Who was it caught by? Cuppy. Caught by Cuppy. It was just on one of the pegs just over there next to us. So we did get our fish. We, it, it took all of us to get it in because of the excitement of the fact that we didn't think we were going to actually get anything. So we've decided that we are going to call it a draw. However, we have got a prize to give out. And we did think that Darren really did, did the majority of it. Would you agree, yeah. Darren? He did the majority of, well, yeah. you know, yeah. holding it and, you know, really sort of helping, in. yeah, reeling it in and, you know, and helping and hook it and stuff like this. So you are the winner of today's prize. Does that mean we we both win then? Because we're a team. Yeah, does no, Angle? No, 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 no. Does that does that mean that we win? No, no, no. no that was the no. idea, mate. That was the idea. We've had lots of fun. We've had a brilliant day. But Daz did reel it in. He did do the majority of it. So you win the prize today, and we have got you a Dinsmore landing net handle. Otherwise known as a boomerang. Otherwise known as a banana boomerang handle. Well done, Daz. Well, well done, Daz. Thank you very, very much. It's appreciated. Well done, right. Now, thank you ever so much for, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you can just like and share the video, it would be much appreciated. And hit that subscribe button. Yeah. There is only one more thing for me to say, and that's if you're fishing this weekend, tie lights. That's not just one more thing, though, is it? If I say one more thing, it'd be like one word. You just always tight have to say something like at the end, words, don't you? So I don't understand why you just words. have to get involved. <laughs> I'm not telling you what to do, but I'll eat him. <laughs>